So just how much space junk is there? Let me put in the numbers for you. There are about 2,000 active satellites in the Earth's orbit. There are also 3,000 dead satellites littering space. And that's not all. There are 34,000 pieces of space junk larger than 10 centimeters in size and millions of smaller pieces that could prove disastrous in case of a collision. So how can we clean up this space junk? The United Nations has asked all companies to remove their satellites from orbit within 25 years after the end of the mission. Now, this is not as easy as it sounds. In fact, it is very tricky to enforce because satellites can and often do fail. Several companies have come up with novel solutions. They are removing dead satellites from orbit and dragging them back into the atmosphere where they will burn up. They are using harpoons and huge nets to grab a satellite. They are even using magnets or firing lasers to heat up the satellite. However, these methods are useful only for large satellites orbiting our planet. There is no way for now to pick up smaller pieces of debris. And we might just have to wait for them to naturally re-enter the atmosphere. Now, all of this space junk could be a problem in the near future. Global giants like Amazon and SpaceX want vast new group of satellites called mega constellations that will beam internet down to Earth. They plan to launch thousands of satellites for global internet coverage. And if successful, there could be additional 50,000 satellites in orbit. And this also means a lot more collision avoidance maneuvers will be required. And we have not spared the lunar surface either. We have left a lot of waste on the moon as well. Some were abandoned objects, others were placed as mementos or time capsules. Three moon buggies from Apollo 15, 16 and 17. 54 uncrewed probes that crashed or landed on the moon. And 190,000 kilograms of material left behind by humans on the moon. That's not all. There are some strange objects also that have been left behind on the moon. A golden olive branch left behind by the Apollo 11 mission in the year 1969. There is also a piece of art by Andy Warhol. This was left behind during the Apollo 12 mission in 1969. Three golf balls. This was the Apollo 14 mission in the year 1971. And the same year, a falcon feather. This was the Apollo 15 mission. And a photograph of astronaut Charles Duke's family. This was in the year 1972. And of course, American flags. There are also bags and bags of human waste, including urine, feces, vomit, Six Apollo missions that landed have left behind 96 bags of human waste. Reports from NASA saying that over 400,000 pounds of garbage has been left on the moon. And that is nearly 190,000 kilograms of waste. And as we continue to wander into space, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered another of the mysteries of our universe. This time it has captured stellar gymnastics in the Cartwheel Galaxy, which is 500 million light years away. This one is a rare sight. The galaxy has previously been examined by space telescopes, but the results have never been the same. The galaxy's shape resembles the wheel of a wagon, resulting from an intense high-speed collision between a massive spiral galaxy and a smaller galaxy. It has two rings, a bright inner ring and a surrounding colorful one. The astronomers call this a ring galaxy, a structure less common than the, uh, less common than the spiral ones in our Milky Way. We're leaving you with these images. Thanks very much for watching.